Well, I'm here with Erika Rosenberg, the maximum expert of fax in the world. And hi, Erika, it's very nice to be here. Hi, Diego, I'm happy to be here. Thank uh, you for having me here. Erika, can you uh, uh, tell to our um, uh, people uh, what is the fax? Fax is the facial action coding system, which was developed by Ekman and Friesen in 1978 and later revised uh, by Ekman and Friesen and Hager in 2002. It is a method for describing all observable actions of the face. Uh, it's comprehensive, it measures everything the face can do, and it's based on the facial anatomy or the facial muscles, okay. rather than on things like emotion categories. Okay. And uh, Erika, so what facts uh, represent uh, uh, for you in uh, your life and in your work? Uh? Well, in my work it's been a powerful tool for measuring emotion. Um, I was very lucky to have the opportunity as a young graduate student to start working with Paul Ekman early in my career to learn this elaborate system of facial measurement and it really helped me in my interest in looking at the effects of emotions on physical health because it provided a rich, rigorous scientific system for describing uh, facial expressions of emotion which is a way of looking at emotions from the outside, not just the inside, which made them more amenable to scientific research. Personally, which is like how does it affect my life, <laughs> it's been, it's made me more sensitive to other people's feelings, it's made me pick up on subtle changes in what might be going on for them emotionally, it's given me improved skills for emotional Connection, I would say. It's, it's, yeah. like a, it's almost like learning another language. And that's a very interesting. I think, uh, what, what do you think is the benefit of people that attend the, uh, the FAX courses? Uh? It really depends on why you come. I mean, there, there are benefits that are direct as a function of your particular interest in studying facial expression and learning more about it. And there are benefits that you don't predict. Um, so, Many of the people I train are scientists, and they suddenly have this new tool they can add to their, um, you know, set of measures that they have for studying emotion or for um, uncovering mysteries of social interaction. Uh, some of the people I train are animators who are trying to make better creatures um, through computer animation, and they get benefits for for learning, um, getting getting an understanding for how the face moves that they wouldn't otherwise. The people who are working in business and, um, you know, human resources or even law enforcement are gaining skills for a more subtle, nuanced appreciation for tiny changes in the face that might tell you something about what someone's feeling that you don't get from their words um, or their actions. And uh, what is the difference so between uh, the facts courses uh, and the training uh, in uh, uh, emotional skills uh, such as uh, Isaac and Lidak, for example? I think that's a very important question. In fact, I feel it's very important to be clear on that when people are considering facts training because it's not emotion skills training. It's face training. It's learning how to measure facial movement. And facts describes everything the face can do, not just emotion. In fact, most of what the face does is not emotion. We eat, we talk, we, we emphasize things with speech. So what you're getting from facts is a tool for describing everything the face can do, which then can be related to other factors like situations the people are in. If you're interested in emotion skills only, there are other courses that are simpler. But what's interesting is I get people come to fact training who've already done the emotional skills. Uh, yeah. They're not interested in doing science, but they want to get more sensitive sure. more to, go some, deeper, huh? to go deeper, yeah. to get, to really exercise their perceptions of changes in the face so that if they want to measure or understand or perceive subtle signs of emotion, they've um, tuned up their their sensitivity to it by learning how to do this detailed coding system, which is a lot of work and trains you to see tiny, tiny shifts from neutral into um, emotion expressions or other things. Uh, what is it like offering uh, a uh, fax training here in Italy with Azul Day and Human Management? 
Well, it's fun. I mean, I always love coming to Italy and working with you. Uh, but yeah. I should say that the people who come you know, seem to be incredibly motivated. Uh, this past workshop I just did was, in, you know, really delightful. And some people were back from academic backgrounds. Some people were here for business. And um, it is always really satisfying to me as an educator to work internationally and see the interest across the world. But Italians in particular are very interested in facial expression. I notice there's a lot of interest um, in many cities, not just here. So I, it, I really enjoy motivated, engaged students. And so it's been fun to come and, and, and work here. And there seems to be a high caliber of participant as well. Some of the people who come from business are trying to find a way to very quickly apply this and gain something from it, but they quickly leave the science behind. ING is different that way. I was very impressed when I was here last year where I really spent some time here for the first time and saw what high quality work you do here, that the um, people who've worked with facts in your group are excellent. They're top-notch coders and you have a commitment to maintaining that level of scientific integrity behind what you offer. So as a scientist, I feel like I'm very discriminating that way. And um, I was impressed. Thank you so much. So we are waiting for you in the, uh, next year. Yes, well, I'm looking forward to coming <laughs> back. Thanks. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Ciao. <laughs>